guys, if you are new here, my name is Haven and I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning here, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today is going to be quite a challenge, you guys. I'm completely up for it. I have no idea what to expect. Um, but I think I'm probably going to be doing the hardest challenge I've ever done today. Um, if you have not seen the latest craze on the internet, you might not be aware of these new tiny hands that have made their debut. And if you're not familiar with what a tiny hand is, it's this. <laughs> so I'm basically going to take these tiny hands and I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply a full face of makeup. Um, I think to date, the hardest challenge I've done is a full face using my left hand only. I'm pretty sure this bad boy is gonna take the cake on difficulty. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss up my hair and I don't see why we shouldn't just hop right in. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a break and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some primer with my actual hands because I just wanna get things rolling. I'm gonna move on to the real makeup. So I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. Um, this is just a sample, I've never tried this before, but that's what that looks like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this into the skin. So up next, I'm gonna take the Stila Perfect Me, Perfect Hue Face and Eye Palette. Um, it's one of my favorites. If you are curious what it looks like, this is it. This is the palette that I'm referring to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with this color right here. It's very light and it'll be a nice transition color. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that light color I just showed you guys, which is called Artistic. We're gonna dip the brush into the product and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that into the crease. Wow, I think I'm using my head actually more than the hand. <laughs> Some more product on there. Okay, so I think we need to get a little bit more depth on. So we're gonna go in with a darker shade. We're gonna go in with this brush right here, which is a little bit bigger than the first one we used. And regarding the shade, we're going to go in with these two colors. We're gonna kind of darken things up real quick. Let me just kind of switch back and forth and dip into both of those. And let's just blend that into the outer portion of the crease. <laughs> Add a little more product on the brush. Okay, well I've had better I've had better blending days, not gonna lie. So I'm not adding any additional product, I'm just kind of mixing what's on the crease itself. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this loose shimmer. It's called Blossom. Um, it's by a small brand called N-O-T-Y-C-E Beauty, and they're on Etsy. This is what that loose shimmer looks like. So it's like a rose gold kind of pinky shade. I go ahead and open that up, and we're going to pat some on the inner lid. I'm just gonna take my hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip it right into this, which I can't use the other hand for that, sorry. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there, right on the index finger and the middle finger. And as you can see, we do have some product on the hand. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that into my inner corner. Let's do it again. Actually, I've seen worse. I've had worse makeup days. <laughs> I'm just joking, this is a nightmare, FYI. Okay, so the nightmare continues. Um, we're gonna go in with some eyeliner. So what I'll be using today is the Tarte Cosmetics Sex Kitten Eyeliner. This is one of my absolute favorites. If you haven't seen that, it has like a little cat on it. It's so adorable. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just open up this cap. So I have the eyeliner in my hand. So we're just gonna go ahead and try as best we can. That's all you can do, right? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, that's like not that bad. Okay, let's keep going. I'm all discombobulated. I'm sure you can imagine why. Okay, so that's one side. <laughs> let's go ahead and dry the other side. Oh my goodness, you guys, I suck. Ah, I just ruined my entire left eye. Cool. <laughs> okay, uh-uh. So I'm going to take my L'Oreal Matte uh, Crayon Liner, which looks like this, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lower waterline. 
So let's go ahead and grab it and just put it underneath the eye. Okay, raccoon, hi. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm putting the eyeliner away because this is not, it's definitely not cute. Okay, so for the foundation today, we're gonna hop in with something I haven't used in a long time. It's Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. The color is light sand, and this is what I'll be using for foundation today. And I have a feeling this is when shit gets messy. <laughs> okay, so we have... <laughs> that did not just happen. Oh my God, give me a second. Look at my shirt. <laughs> Okay, so we're taking the wand. We are just going to kind of stripe it along the face. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I'm getting foundation all over the hand. <laughs> you guys, this is really hard. Okay. You know what, there's so much on the stick. I'm actually just gonna wipe it on the stick like this. I'm gonna wipe it on the hand. See that, guys? We're just gonna just put it all over the damn place. So we are going to go ahead and take this beauty blender here and we're gonna to try to press it into the skin and blend the foundation out. Again, it sounds, it sounds a hell of a lot easier than it is, FYI. Okay guys, the beauty blender is not doing me any favor, so I'm gonna hop in with my favorite Morphe brush, which is the Y6 and we are just gonna use that to blend in the rest of the foundation. <laughs> wow, I think I remember right now why I don't ever use this foundation. It looks so light and I don't even like the coverage. Maybe it dried because it took me so long to, to blend it. No, I'm not obsessed though. So what we're going to use is the uh, banana powder. It so this is the banana powder that I'm going to go ahead and throw on. Sorry, it's so dirty. I use this flat little um, sponge type thing to blend that in. I'm just gonna take it and kind of smooth it under the eye. And well, all over the whole face, why not? I really like that setting powder, by the way. Like a big old fluffy brush and we're just gonna kind of dust away the excess. So up next, we are gonna go in with the Tarte blush. This is what it looks like, and uh, it's one of my favorite blushes. And we're just basically going to take a little fluffy brush and smooth that into the chisels of the cheek. I think I just said that was one of my favorite bronze or blushes, but I meant bronzer. I don't know if I said that right. Let's do the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. For the blush, I'm gonna hop in with an old favorite of mine that I have not reached for recently, and that is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This stuff is amazing, and it smells like coconuts. It's awesome. So we're hopping in with the BH Cosmetics brush, and we are just gonna add some color to the cheeks. <laughs> mm, this stuff smells so good. I totally forgot how good it smells. Oh my goodness. So I think what we're gonna do next is actually try to fill in the brows. I'm gonna use this ColourPop brow pencil. I've only used it one time before. It's a little bit dark for my liking, um, but we're just gonna give it a shot today, guys. So let's roll with it. Okay, so wish your girl some luck because this ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> oh my God how good I did like literally I'm actually serious not bad for using plastic hands now watch me screw everything up over here it's usually the case oh already starting oh my god guys I accidentally did caterpillar brow on this side whoops hmm bummer I gotta say I think brows were probably the easiest so far I think that was like kind of easy I didn't say they look good but it was easy so I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty Brow Tint, which is my ultimate favorite brow tint, and we're going to go ahead and swipe that over the brows. So there it is. <laughs> and this side. Okay, it's usually a lot more graceful and easy than that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop that highlighter on, guys. I'm gonna use the ColourPop highlighter. I think this is called Here Kitty Kitty. I'm not 100% sure because they don't label the backs of them, which really sucks, but we'll live. Okay, I don't have a highlighter brush handy and I don't feel like getting up, so I'm just gonna use this tiny little guy right here. And if you were curious, this is the actual highlighter I'm gonna be using today. So sorry for the lighting, I know it's not that great. Okay, so we're gonna take that tiny brush that I just showed you, we're gonna pop on that highlighter. <laughs> A little bit on the tip of the nose. And of course the Cupid's bow. Can't miss that when you're doing a glam look like this one. I think next it's time to pop on a lip color and then we'll do mascara. So for the lip, I'm gonna do Kylie Cosmetics Head Over Heels. If you're not familiar, this is the shade of the actual liner. And then of course, the liquid lipstick itself is obviously the same color. So that's what the actual lipstick color looks like. Okay, so we have Head Over Heels Lip Liner and let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, well we tried, we tried our best. And now for the incredibly mess messy part, so bear with your girl, let's just put on a liquid lip. <laughs> Cute. So today for mascara, we are going to be using Kush Mascara. Um, if you guys are not familiar, it's by Milk Makeup and it's been the latest and greatest and it's one of my favorites so that's what we will be placing on the lashes today okay so we have our mascara wand <laughs> and I think it's time to just go right ahead oh it's getting in my hair okay this is very 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 tough you guys this is really hard it's not working at all like I don't have any control Oh my god, I look like, I look so ratchet. Okay, let's go ahead and put this away because I'm not doing myself any favors. Okay, you guys, I can't believe this. We made it to the end. This is my official finished look. Um, I have to say, I've definitely had better makeup days, but I actually thought it'd be worse. I mean, the fact that I have no fingers here, like it's just basically two pieces of plastic, um, I do have stuff all over my clothing and lap right now, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> but I have to say, in all honesty, like I'm gonna go ahead and go <gasps> in regards to this because I think I did better than I expected. Nothing looks good, don't get me wrong. It doesn't look good at all, but it looks better than I expected. That's the difference there. Um, but anyway, so let me know if you guys enjoyed the tiny hands challenge, and um, I don't know, if I can do anything else with these fun little hands, let me know. I had to get them when I saw that they were only $8. Let me know what you guys thought of this challenge down below and if you enjoyed it. I'm going to say I did enjoy it. I mean, it was a little bit challenging, but um, I think at the end of the day, I kind of surprised myself. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I also wanted to say something I forgot to mention in the very beginning is this was not my idea. I stole this idea from Jamie French. She was the first one to do this. A few other YouTubers have done the tiny hand challenge, um, but she was the one that created it as far as I know. Um, so I wanted to make sure I gave her credit and I will go ahead and link her page down below as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, I would love it if you did. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.